What up, what up? Wimblish here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we could take an image sequence into Unreal and have it play back within a sequencer. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this came about because I did a couple of weeks ago, I did a tutorial showing you guys how we could bring a movie image inside of Unreal Engine and render it out. But there is a problem there. If you're gonna be using the sequencer to render that out, sometimes the frame rate is gonna get a little bit weird on your video. And so a simple solution around that is basically using an image sequence instead of a mov or an mpeg file and so to get started if i come down here you can see my sequencer if i just play it back i just have some fluid simulation playing in here and let's say that i want to have stuff playing inside this monitor right and so let me stop this i'm gonna go over to my content browser and if i come down i actually have a folder called videos here and so the first step is i'm going to right click in this open area here and then i'm going to come over to media and then I'm gonna find where I could bring in my IMG media source, which is right here. So I'm gonna click on this and you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave it at default for right now. So I'm gonna double click on this and let me drag this over. And so this is the window that pops up. And so if you come down here to where it says sequence and then sequence path, click on the three dots here. And then this is where you're gonna select wherever you rendered out your image sequence. And so I have a folder here called pre-render because I pre-rendered some stuff out from Cinema 4D. And so I'm gonna click the very top one here. I have it 000. It's gonna go in numerical order. So make sure you click the very top one and click open. And that's all there is to it. So now all I have to do is click save and I'm actually gonna exit this out. And then within the same folder, I'm gonna right click, come back over to media, and then I'm gonna come down to media player. So I'm gonna click on this. And then right here, it says additional assets to create and link to the media player video output media texture asset i want to click this on and hit ok and again you can rename it if you want but i'm just going to leave it at default and you can see that it added a material here as well but the material is black and that's because we need to tell it to use our image sequence in order to pipe into this material so if you see this little tv screen right here i'm going to double click on this one and your image sequence should already be in here so if i double click on it you can see that it's actually playing back. I have this actually rendered out at 60 frames per second. And so that's what our playback is right now. So I'm going to come up here, hit pause. And then over here on my right hand side, let me drag this out a little bit. Under playback, I want to have it as a loopable sequence. And so I'm just going to click loop. And that should be all there is to it. So I'm going to click on save on this one as well. And then exit this out. And now if you look down here, we have inside of our image sequence, it popped up. The black box now has something piped into it. If I double click on it, you can see that it has our image sequence here. So I'm gonna let that go. I'm actually gonna come and drag this onto my TV screen now. And there you go. So now it shows up black, which it made a new material down here, which is black as well. And so we're gonna have to go to sequencer in order to get that to play back. But I'm gonna actually take this new black material and drag it into this screen as well. And if I double click on here, you can see it just made a real basic, simple material here. I'm gonna leave this open because there's something else that I wanna do after this, but let me minimize it for right now. And then I'm gonna come back over to my sequencer window. So in here, I'm gonna come over here where it says track. So you have plus sign track. I'm gonna left click on this. And then down here at the very bottom, we should see media track. So you wanna click on this and that's gonna bring a media track here in which we're gonna click on this plus symbol media. And then we're gonna bring in that new IMG media source or whatever you named it, but the icon should be the same there. I'm gonna click on that. And then I could just click and drag this out. You can actually move it around your sequencer if you wanna have it at the beginning. If you notice, I have like just a little slice in here that's playing in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to right click on here. So inside of my timeline here, my sequencer, right click, and then I'm gonna come up to properties. And then down here, you can see that inside of media texture, we have none right now. So you wanna click on this little box here that says none. I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna select my little image media texture here. Click on that, and that should be it. So now I'm gonna come over, and you can see that it showed up in these windows here. So now I'm gonna hit play, and you should see it playing back here within your window. 
and yeah it should be playing back at the frame rate that you have it inside of my sequencer i have it set up for 60 frames per second i have these screens running at 60 frames per second it just have like a slow melodic movement in there and then if you render it out of your sequencer it should play back fine so the issue before if you're using like an mpeg or h264 or something of that nature whenever you rendered it out sometimes it sped it up really fast and it didn't play back at the proper frame rate but this should fix you here and then if you notice in here, it's a little bit dark as well. And so if I come back over, I'm going to hit the Windows key down here because I'm going to open back up my material. And if you don't remember where that's at, go to your content browser. Let me actually close this out. Hit no. Okay, so I'm going to come down here inside of my content browser. I'm going to double click on this one. And so it's the one that has like the green bar on it. And then if I come right here where it says RGB, let me actually make this a little bit smaller so we can see it because this is kind of important too if it comes in really dim like that if you come up here to your rgb left click down to your emissive color it should brighten it up a lot there so inside of here i'm going to hit save and there we go so now it made it bright inside of our screen as well and it's very easy to see so hopefully this helped you guys out shout out to teflon saga he hit me up on instagram the other day he was having this issue and it kind of reminded me that i needed to put this tutorial out because he's not the first one to ask like i was saying before if you use like an mpeg and bring it into here sometimes your frame rates won't align but if you use an image sequence you should be golden so if this did help you out make sure you leave me a comment down below leave me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next Next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here